features. The third step in closing out your SLO is to enter the end of year rating by averaging out the ISP second six weeks, third six weeks, fourth six weeks, and fifth six weeks milestones by adding the number of purple dots and dividing by five. Use the ranges below to get the rating. Please do not round. So let's see what that looks like. Here's an example of a student's uh, five milestones. For their ISP, they have two dots, second six weeks, two dots, third six weeks, three dots, fourth six weeks, three dots, and fifth six weeks, three dots. We know the dots refer to ratings. Two dots is below typical, three dots is typical. But for this particular task, we're just gonna look at the number of dots and average them out as if we had a calculator. So we add it all together, we get 13, and then to get the average, there's five different um, points, so we divide by five. When you use a calculator, that comes out to an average of 2.6. So now you're gonna get the average and compare it to our table here. To get well below typical, you have to score between a 1.0 to a 1.4, below typical, 1.4 to a 2.4, typical, 2.5 through a 3.4, above typical 3.5 through a 4.4 and well above typical 4.5 through a 5.0. So if the average was a 2.6, we get it. And we figure out that the average actually leads us to a typical rating. So that typical rating then turns into a rating that you would enter into Eduphoria. Typical is three dots. And you would enter the end of your rating here where it says EOY rating. Now, let's see what that looks like inside an actual Eduphoria account. So here on the right side of my screen now, we have a dummy account. This is a demo account. It's not real data. We have our calculator ready to go. Kind of a best practice is, as you can see, I can only see my ISP milestone, second six weeks, third six weeks, fourth six weeks. So to make sure I can see all the milestones I need, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink my window size. If I'm in Chrome, I go to the top right, kind of shrink it to about 80. Now I can see the ISP, second six weeks, third six weeks, fourth six weeks, and fifth six weeks. Again, I did that by going to the top right-hand corner, clicking on the three dots, and I shrunk my screen to 80%. So here's 100. As you can see at 100, I can't see all the milestones I need, but if I shrink it down for me, for my particular screen, 80 fits perfectly fine. Uh, your screen just depends on whether you're on a laptop or you're, whether you're on a CPU, but whatever you need to do to go ahead and see all five milestones together to help you out. Use your calculator to kind of blind out the rest of the rating so you don't get confused. So here we go. Three dots ISP. So we put three and we add second six weeks, two dots, two, add third six weeks, three dots, fourth six weeks, three, fifth six weeks, four. So our total is 15, but then don't forget we're averaging out. So we divide by five because that's how many milestones we have. And that comes out to a 3.0. We go to back to our table, find where the three fits. So 3.0 fits in the typical area. So that means that the end of year rating for this student is typical. We go back to Eduphoria. We go back to the student we were talking about, scroll over, find the end of year rating. And there we have three dots. You would add three dots. Let's do one more together. Here we go. Take out your calculator. Put it under the next student. Sorry. Take out your calculator. Put it under the next student. That way you're blocking out the rest of the ratings you don't need. Make sure you see the ISP through the fifth six weeks. And let's try it. Clear your calculator. Here we go. ISP, two dots. Second six weeks, two dots. Third six weeks, three dots. Fourth six weeks, three dots. And fifth, six weeks, three dots. Average it out, divide by five, 2.6. Take 2.6 to your table, find where it is. 2.6 is within typical. So this student's end of year rating would be typical. Scroll over to the right side. Here we are. This is a 2.6. Then we go ahead and put typical. That's how you figure out and that's how you average the end of year rating. To double check your work to make sure that the math worked out and that's actually the rating you need for the student, you're gonna check your TSP rubric. So we go back to our first student, Nicola Harris. We said this kid was three dots, but to check to make sure that it aligns with our TSP rubric, we go ahead and go to the EOY rating area, click on the three dots, click on show rubric, 
And this will show you what you said a typical student would look like. Of course, it's really small because I shrunk my screen. But if I go back and enlarge it, I can see that a typical student is someone who can add and subtract four digit numbers with regrouping. Students can solve one or two step problems using addition and subtraction. And students can justify their answers most of the time with prompting. Students can generate their own word problems. So I go back and I check that first student's uh, end of year rating and I say, okay, typical, yes, this student can typically do that. And so I verify that. I go to my next student, Jennifer Jackson. You know what, thinking about my body of evidence and, and the ratings I have, she did have a 2.6. So let me check below typical. I read what I have here. You know what, this student exhibits this skill more than she exhibits that skill. So I'm going to go ahead and bring her rating down to a below typical. Those are, a, that is the second way you can double check your ratings. Again, it's an average of the entire five milestones, but of course, double check your work by checking on the, the final rating with the TSP that you went ahead and constructed at the beginning of the year. If you set up the portfolio the way I showed you at the beginning of the year, again, you'll have that under end of year rating, your three vertical dots, and you'll click on show rubric. If for some reason you don't have it there, then you're going to have to look at your TSP in your Texas SLO form that you created at the beginning of the year. Thank you.